Um, a buddy of mine, stand-up comedian, was involved in a scandal. Air quotes. You know what he was doing? He was in a comedy club trying out new jokes. Can you believe that? What the fuck was he thinking? People, does anybody out there understand that you have no right to get offended when you, when you, as a, as a, an adult, make the free choice to go into a comedy club? All right, you, you don't have a right to be offended. You don't. You don't. All right, you just the second you walk in there, everything is fucking free game. That's what it is. All right, that's. It's not like you hired a comedian to do a private party. And you gave him a list of shit of subjects that you wanted him to stay away from him or her. And that comedian agreed to it. Now, if that's the case, you're paying him and said, hey, don't bring up uh, fucking cheese whiz. And the person does a bit on and agrees to not do it and then goes up there and does that exact thing. Then, yeah, not only do they owe you an apology, you shouldn't even fucking pay him because they, they voided out the contract. But in a, in a comedy club, you didn't hire those comedians. You decided to go down there and watch comedians try out material, give you their best shit, give something that kind of works, throw some shit against the wall. That's our house. That's our dojo. You're not entitled to a fucking apology. Um, I thought that was the most... Half, half the people bitching about that Dane Cook joke, it's like they don't even, they didn't even get the joke. The joke was not making fun of the victims in Colorado. It was using that as a, as a, as a, as a reference. He was talking about how bad he thought the new Batman movie was. So right out of the gate, half the people didn't even get what the fucking joke was about. And then secondly, Dane didn't film himself and then upload that onto the Internet. Somebody in the crowd did. Right? So why does he have to apologize? He told that joke in L.A. And they tell you at the beginning of the show, do not videotape the comedians. Please do not videotape the comedians. And the person videotapes them. And by the way, I heard the crowd laugh Joke sounded like it did all right. wasn't a complete joke. It's just, you know, something he's working on. And some of the best material comes out of that material. So he has to basically apologize for building a new hour of material. You know, I, I don't get that. You, you don't, I, and I don't think that comedians should apologize. I think it's absolute bullshit. And um, look, there's all different kinds of comedy. There's dark comedy. There's, there's absurd. There's blue. There's squeaky clean and it's like music. There's all different kinds of music. Go gravitate towards the shit that you like. But, like, you know, if some asshole in the crowd films a comedian in a comedy club, our house, our dojo, and puts it up there, if you got a fucking problem with uh, it being there, talk to the person who videotaped it. Because I think that's the only person that needed to apologize. All right? He should apologize for Dane for taking taping his act. And then he should apologize to anybody, uh, you know, I guess, who, who fucking saw this new joke that Dane didn't put on a special or do on fucking Letterman. It's the stupidest fucking thing on the planet. Go fuck yourself. And you know what kills me is when you apologize, you're actually, I, I feel like that's an admission. Then you're saying the other person was right. Like, yeah, I meant that in a malicious way. You know, like what kind of a moron watched that joke and actually thought that Dane w w was actually supporting what that psycho did in Colorado? You know what I mean? Who, who, who is that fucking stupid? You know, I don't know. And like I said, at the end of the day, he just told the joke in the comedy club and the crowd laughed. That's what kills me on all of these. The crowd fucking laughs. I wrote on Twitter. I'm going to quote myself here to have to have a just just have a new level of arrogance on this podcast. You know, after the last one. Was it Tosh? I think was the last one. Is the philosophical question is if a comedian tells a joke in a comedy club and the whole crowd laughs except for one person, is it really a national news story? You know, because that's another thing, too, is I feel like that's just like it's like a, a good way to kill five minutes on a newscast where you can just say that there's outrage where there was no outrage. There was no outrage. There wasn't. If there was like truly Outrage, you would have heard it after he told the joke. You would have heard people yelling out, groans, moans. You would have heard that. You didn't. You heard a it, the joke got a decent laugh. That was it. And then he moved on to the next one. It's, I mean, is that, is that what doing stand-up is going to be now? You're going to have to sit there and be like, I'd like to apologize to anybody 
who is lactose intolerant. I uh, should have chosen my words more carefully. Go fuck yourself. Right? Am I out of my mind? I, it, uh, I don't know. It's a whole new world. whole new world of fucking snitches just out there just trying to get people in trouble. That's the podcast for this week. Um, I hope this week can go by without me seeing somebody, uh, you know, that I'm a fan of or even not a fan of having to apologize for not fucking doing anything, anything wrong. And I'm really sick of just the lazy journalism while you try to say that there's outrage when there was no outrage. You know what I mean? The joke basically worked. People laughed. It's just really fucking annoying. So anyways... Um, that is it. And by the way, if you ever see that Dane is performing in any sort of Broadway thing, uh, I can't recommend him highly enough. I was absolutely fucking I, he blew me away. And I've known this guy for 20 fucking years. I've seen it. I've seen all the tricks in his fucking trick bag there and uh, absolutely fucking blew me away. And I'm really happy for him, especially after that fucking bullshit of that fucking nerd film in them. That just really ruined my fucking week when that shit. You know, Nia actually called me up when that happened and like with like this concerned tone going, I know you've worked so hard. What if something you say? I mean, it, that's the climate that's starting to be created, which is the reason why people can't apologize for this shit. I mean, I don't know. I guess if you're on a TV show, uh, you get pressure to do it. It's all bullshit. They, they, even like the po- apology isn't sincere. It has to do with money. Like, all right, well, we, we don't want people protesting this and making the show go away. There's hundreds of people who lose their jobs. Just fucking apologize. I think that's why they always go after comedians who have like TV shows or have some sort of notoriety. Have you noticed that shit? They don't go after a guy like me. What are they going to do? You can't stop me from telling jokes next to a cheesecake factory in a mall. All right. <laughs> you could maybe turn it from a three-quarter full room to a half full room, but I don't give a fuck. All right? Ah, that's just fucking frustrating. All right, that's it. Go fuck yourselves. I'll talk to you next week.